Okay, is that, yeah, yep. I'll keep it there. Okay, so our team, we were basically trying to put together an intelligent pantry. Um, so I know when I go shopping, I pick up a six pack. I have one place in the fridge where I put that six pack. Um, so it, uh, I, I have a water filter that I get water from and sometimes my girlfriend will come and she'll take water and then not fill it up. I'd like to get notified about that, have a little discussion there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Would you go? Yeah. <laughs> I'll learn eventually. Um, and then maybe some of the Amazon pantry things that you have, you could just fire off a AWS service to then order any, like say you're running low on flour, it could just detect that and then it would order you flour to your home and via some sort of subscription service. So that's kind of the idea that we had going into it. Um, we had pressure sensitive resistors that we used that we hooked up to the um, ADC uh, automation hat that we were able to then read uh, pretty high variability of the actual weight. So we had three that we put on the platform. And so then when we put beers on it, we could register, you have one beer, you have two beers, you have three beers, etc. cetera. Um, and then when you took it off and it got empty, it would push a notification to you. Um, we also had a water level sensor that would allow you to, <coughs> once the tank started to get low, it would tell you, you could handle it however you feel is most appropriate. Um, <laughs> And then we also had a stretch sensor, which is for, say, say you bring home a bunch of bananas and you hook it to your rope, as all people do, and then it'll, t <laughs> and then it'll tell you exactly how many bananas you have left, and oh no, I'm running out of bananas. Thank God, I, <laughs> I now know how to handle this. Uh, and so we got all three of those pieces running on, uh, we had two different Raspberry Pis, the one with the stretch sensor and the water cooler were both, they both had IOTivity servers running on them, each representing a different device. And they then, if a client subscribed to observe them, then anytime there was a great enough change or say a binary change for the water temperature, it would then send the notification to the client, um, as well as for the, um, for the, the beard detector, whatever. Um, and so we had some issues. We, the demo app for the 15 minute uh, get IOTivity running uh, doesn't sub support observables. And that was kind of right at the heart of what we were trying to do. And so we set that aside and decided to write our own observable client if we had time. And we kind of started to run up against that, <laughs> uh, that time frame there. And so we didn't actually get a client to aggregate all of the data into one single controller, which then would be able to fire off to Amazon to order stuff. But we have uh, the three IoTivity servers representing the devices and blasting out were a client to subscribe what the change in information is. So I think that's, <laughs> yeah, that's about what we did. Any questions for that?